Hello, today we're going to be working with some text on a photo to try to make it uh, look like the text is on the actual photo surface itself, the texture. And right here is by Holly Johnson and it says transform text to match perspective in a photo. Add a perspective effect to a text graphic so the words match the perspective found in the scene. So if we see this text, it almost looks like it's written on the actual road. So let's go do that. We're going to go through Photoshop and actually use the tutorial there. If you have the photo, you can just follow along. You don't actually have to follow uh, the actual Photoshop tutorial. You can just do what I do. So let's go into the home screen. We're going to browse tutorials. We're going to go into photo editing to beginning for all categories. And then all skill levels is going to be beginner. We're going to go to text. And we're going to find this one right here. Transform text to match perspective in a photo. Start tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we see two layers right here. We see the text layer and we also see the photo layer. I'm just clicking on the eyes to actually see them by themselves. So we want to select the actual text layer right there. So we select the text layer. And then from here, we're going to choose Edit Transform Perspective. Edit Transform Perspective. And now this wants to go to 40 degrees. We're going to bring this corner all the way in, and that's what's going to start changing this look of the perspective. So let's bring this in. It's now it almost looks like we're it's laying down, but we're gonna keep going. See the little number there in the black square, rectangle rather? That's we have to change to 40. Now you can change it to something else, but 40 is a good idea. So that's what we did that, and it changes the angle. And now we're gonna hit either enter, return, or this little check mark. I'm gonna hit the check mark. Now we're going to go next to see what we're going to do after this. So now we're going to choose Edit Transform Scale. So Edit Transform Scale. So now with that being selected, I'm going to hold down Shift. And I'm going to pick this top center little box, the Transform box. And I'm going to change this so that it looks like it's on the same angle as the row. Now, I'm also going to do a couple things. I'm going to actually position this so it looks kind of closer down here. This is kind of important, but you know what? Let me leave it up here so you see why I'm moving it down, okay? Show you why I'm moving it down. So I'm going to put this back up here just so you can see. Also, when I got that down, let's see what we're going to do next. You'll see why I'm going to move it. Hit next. And okay, so this is not letting me see, but I already know what to do. So we're going to go over here to overlay. So we're going to select right here is the blending mode. Okay, so we're going to hit overlay select overlay and that's going to make it look like it's kind of connected or touching on top of that texture it mixes it and we're going to change the opacity to 85 so change that to 85 and now notice up here there's less texture it's lighter i'm going to bring it down a little bit so that it actually looks like it's in the road so as it's darker you can kind of see that more I'm kind of putting it in the middle there like that, like that. And I think I'm going to hit this little check mark and then I'm going to click next. Did that already, did that. And there you go. Okay. You can change that to whatever you want. Now, if you're going to use this uh, to turn in as an assignment for me, or you want to know how to just, you know, use this uh, transform your photos so that it's um, can be viewed online 
this is usually what I do. Uh, I will save it as a Photoshop layer here, and then I save it again as a JPEG. So I can go over here, save as, and right here I'm going to save whatever this says. So this says transform text to match perspective in a photo. I'm going to put my name in there so that way if it was turned in, the teacher will know who it's turned in as. I'm going to save this to the cloud. You can save it on your computer too. Save that there. Now I'm going to save the save a copy. So I'll save this to my computer. And I'm going to change it to a JPEG. Downloads. It's important to know where it's going. Hit save. Eight quality is okay. And now what I'm going to do is change the image size. Image size, you know, to turn this in for an assignment. Oh, that size is still good, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So I have different sizes, you know, different types of files. And now this is, I'm going to save this as a maybe the longest, whatever the longest uh, length is. So width and height, the longest one is right here, 1800. I'm going to save this as 1,000 because I'm going to turn this in. Whatever the longest one is, I'm going to change it to 1,000 and hit OK. And I already saved it as a JPEG, so now when I save this again, it won't be an issue. I'm just going to hit Save, OK, and it will save over the JPEG that I had before. So the Photoshop file is saved bigger, the regular size. And then I saved it as a JPEG, and then I went and changed the size and saved it again over the JPEG.